So you see nothing uh, awkward or embarrassing in the fact that this fundamental principle that we need to assume um, can't be justified. All uh, that can be done is that it, you know, we can explain why following it is successful, but we can't actually justify it. We can't provide any grounds for making that assumption. No, no. And I think it starts on good terms. That's what I meant by the, the, uh, uh, by, uh, the uh, human, uh, the human predicament being the human predicament. I think we have to settle for that. Uh, and it's of a piece with uh, uh, recognizing the fallibility of science generally. In your explanation, you make use of the notion of similarity, uh, and, and you use the phrase subjective similarity. Yes. And uh, I think I know what you have in mind. The, uh, there can't be an objective sense of similarity because of this uh, Goodman problem that everything is similar to everything sure. else. Yeah. But can you say more about what you mean by a subjective probability? Uh, well, yes. Uh, the, uh, in principle, it can be tested by, by conditioned responses. Uh, you, you, uh, 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 the the uh, creature uh, happens to uh, do something, uh, that's operant behavior, as uh, Skinner calls it, uh, uh, just uh, ab uh, about just shortly after uh, st some uh, s some stimulation has been given him. Uh, and then you reward that, that, that uh, uh, I call it, hardly say response, but that uh, bit of operant behavior, you reward it. Uh, and uh, then because of uh, this primitive induction, uh, the creature uh, uh, expects uh, uh, that reward again when uh, he responds in that way to uh, a similar uh, experience. Uh, well, now, uh, this can be uh, used for a, psych for a psychological measurement, in principle, of uh, the, the creature's uh, standards of uh, similarity and uh, degrees of similarity uh, by uh, giving him another simulation, having, having rewarded his, uh, that response, the response of his to the first simulation, uh, having rewarded that, uh, give him another uh, uh, simulation similar to the first, similar by the uh, this time by the by the uh, experimenter standard, of course, but uh, 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 not very similar. Uh, just reasonably, and the uh, creature responds uh, uh, the same old way, and you penalize him instead of uh, rewarding him. Uh, and then uh, you try a third stimulation, which is. Uh, uh, and uh, you, you're wondering, is this third going to be more similar for that creature to the first than it was to the second? Uh, uh, and uh, you decide that by uh, whether he responds or doesn't respond in the way that he had to the first two. If he does respond in spite of the punishment, uh, it means that it's more similar to the first than to the second. So this is a, uh, uh, this, so subjective similarity in short uh, turns out to be something that does make experimental and scientific sense, unlike uh, absolute similarity in the abstract. Um, I have a sort of inchoate question about <laughs> the, um, the evolutionary argument, the evolutionary explanation of uh, the uh, accuracy of our expectations. It seems plausible that this might explain the accuracy of primitive expectations. Do you think the same sort of evolutionary argument can be used to explain why we're so successful in science, um, why we manage to hit on profound theories of the world that work uh, so well? I think it must be the same, the same principle. Uh, and uh, uh, I think this isn't just a uh, a happy accident, uh, that we've been guided by the expectations uh, from this most primitive level onward uh, in elaborating our science. Uh, and uh, uh, when uh, uh, the uh, expectations induced by primitive induction uh, don't pan out, we, uh, uh, we, we back up and uh, uh, discard that hypothesis so that we're, we're, we're using the same old uh, uh, the, the same old primitive uh, reaction, primitive uh, 
of uh, apparatus of expectation, I think, right along. The difference is that we're building a more and more sophisticated uh, structure uh, to which to apply it. I want to ask a question that's related to a paper that you wrote called On the Nature of Moral Values, uh, which I think may relate to this um, uh, question too. Um, in The Nature of Moral, moral Values, you outline um, the two parts, as it were, to the way that we um, learn these responses or become conditioned. There's the first part, which seems to go along two, two axes. One is that you are rewarded by pain or avoidance of pain or pleasure or avoidance of pleasure, or oh, um, pain and pleasure. And that's, that goes along one axis. Then there's the further aspect, which is the concept of similarity. Now, similarity is a sort of triadic relationship, I think, yes. uh, uh, in the sense that something is um, A has to be uh, better than B, uh, more, more like B than C, C right? right. Um, and then you're saying that, in answer to what Bob was saying, that this, in fact, is something that is actually the way in which we learn our science as well, uh, because ultimately this is the, our primitive equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you were using that as an explanation as how, in fact, we evolve our, that's how our moral theory or our uh, morality would evolve. And earlier, you seem to want to say that moral values as such was something that was slightly, well, was, 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 was different from the way in which we uh, come to our knowledge about the world or uh, engage our, or, or develop or construct our scientific theory. Now, I'm not exactly clear still. That's why I keep coming back to it, precisely what the difference is. Yes, good. Now let's see how can that, that be sorted out. We, uh, um, uh, it, uh, our, 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 in the first place, uh, I, I think our, our, of course, our moral training has, uh, or our moral, uh, the development of our moral values in the individual uh, has, has two sources. Uh, I, I think uh, there, one there's the there's the innate part, the kind of thing that accounts for altruism among among animals, other animals as well. Uh, uh, second, there's this, the part that uh, in animals is seen by training a dog or uh, uh, training a dog to do tricks and training a child to behave. Uh, and uh, uh, well, now, how, uh, it, it's the same old, same old uh, uh, standard of subjective standard of similarity uh, that applies to both. Uh, and uh, uh, in the one case, uh, I, I use this. Uh, uh, in showing how to test the standard of similarity itself. Uh, and that was already the animal training kind of situation. Um, and you're discouraging the, uh, 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 the action. Uh, then f there was that further, further step in, uh, if we're trying to measure s s uh, similarity. But, but uh, uh, in the case of the training behavior, uh, we're doing the same thing for a different purpose this time, uh, namely just to discourage that thing once and for all. Um, is there any further connection? Uh, I think that that's what uh, uh, the moral side and the uh, scientific side have uh, in common. Uh, on the moral side, there is, the, you see, this primitive uh, scientific element involved, namely, it, I, I mean, insofar as you might say that induction or expectation is the primitive uh, germ of science, uh, namely, uh, uh, that is exploited in moral training.